Moving along with our coverage of, or my coverage, from my own knowledge, the board meeting. Yeah, it is. The, uh, what? 220. Okay. Um, we're now on the next section of this board meeting, the big, the biggie. And what is the biggie? It's this. That's not loading. Here it is right there. Here it is. TriMet is giving the property over here over to the developer weasels. No public hearings, no public comment. They just announced it after the decision was already be, been made in pure, in typical uh, TriMet style. And as I told Rippy, don't worry, they're going to close it. That, that decision was already been made. You know, they delayed it because that's, people were objecting to it because bus riders that transfer to the max there are fucked. But they don't care about that. Uh, bus riders don't count. We know that. Um, what are we? <laughs> yep, all yours, all yours, buddy. Okay, Rippy's going to, I was worried that Rippy wasn't going to, I'm done tweeting calls for today. And I was worried that he wasn't going to do the call, but he'll take over, he'll get the night calls, and the best action is at night. Although the calls have been very tame, tons and tons of mechanical problems, tons of door problems, the uh, misbehaving riders are are not so bad right although we did have one really bad incident today uh started with fares they always there's always something that creates it um but be <laughs> yeah rippy likes the real time all right so back to this so now we're on to the this page won't load for some reason i don't know what it is i've already i've already loaded up the pages that are so let's get back here any abstentions? Thank, Thank you, you motion, motion carries. carries. Moving on to resolution number five. So, so resolution, resolution number five, five well, um, is determining the terms of the Hollywood Transit Center Joint Development Agreement on reasonable and fair, and the revenue therefrom will be used for public transportation. Um, Mr. General Manager. Thanks, Thanks, President Simmons, uh, members of the board. So All right, let me just go over this real quick here um, before we listen to him. Okay, Requ request the board make a determination that the terms and conditions of the Hollywood Joint Development Agreement are fair and reasonable to TriMet, and the revenue derived shall be used for public transportation. Yeah. Hollywood Center was opened in 1986 and was constructed as part of TriMet's first light rail line. The site is currently used as a bus stop and transfer station for three bus lines, but is otherwise undeveloped. That's once again, you see, undeveloped. I mean, bus riders need that. Need that. Now they're going to have to walk all the way out to uh, whatever that fucking street is. I don't know, Halsey? Uh, now for the bus drivers, on the other hand, that's like a something set from heaven because that transit center, and I remember going in there years ago and it was really bad. I mean, it was just, they made it so tight. You had to really, you, you had to really, um, uh, make sure you, you made your turns correctly because they, they made it so tight. You, you had to be like an experienced driver to get in there in one shot. Okay, the current condition of the site is shown in ex Exhibit A. Uh, this is Exhibit A. Okay, here you go. You can look at it. Um, where am I? Okay, uh, because this Hollywood neighborhood site is immediately adjacent to public transportation near schools, jobs, grocery stores, Entertainment, TriMet is identified as a prime candidate for their transit-oriented development bullshit. And as we all know, 
TriMet is actually a development agency pretending that it's a transit agency. Okay, we, we all know that. Anybody who's followed this knows this for sure. To this end, in early 2019, see, that was before they told anybody they were doing it. They listed the property for sale through its broker. So they didn't tell anybody. See, they just, they tell you what's going to happen with your transit system. You don't tell them. They tell you. This is a criminal organization because they don't care about the public at all. They make all the decisions for you and they operate in secret. There's no mistake that they don't advertise these meetings are going on. TriMet's listing made clear that the agency is looking for a partner to help create TriMet-oriented uh, development. In response, TriMet received three proposals and determined the proposal jointly submitted by Bridge and a market rate developer was the most advantage to the yeah, right. So subsequently, TriMet and Bridge began negotiating a price. The onset of the pandemic, which is destroying the middle class, has sent hundreds of millions of people into abject poverty and made the rich richer than ever in history in time, is destroying everything that... <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thank God he's not giving up on... I worry about him sometimes because he's so busy as it is. I don't know how he has time for this. Um... Uh, to create a community. In response to the CW listing, TriMet, Bridge, and Market Rate take advantage. All right. Blah, blah, blah. The onset of the pandemic led to the redesign after more than two years of negotiation. What the fuck takes two years to negotiate? You can't sit down across the table and figure out what you're going to do. It took you two years, huh? Yeah, right. That's, that's called bureaucracy. Let's not make a decision so quick so we can string this out as long as possible. TriMet is going to enter into a 99-year lease with Bridge to operate a 13 The affordable housing is bullshit, by the way. This is, this is nonsense. This is baloney. You hear this in every single building that the developer weasels put up now. But it's, it's garbage. It doesn't help the homeless price crisis at all. In coordination with TriMet's AgJet project to rebuild and replace aging transit infrastructure? This is exhibit B, but it won't load. Oh, wait, here it comes. Is it going to load? See, I, I can't load this document for some reason. And of course, I always find it suspicious when trying to hide something. Like, the, why isn't this loading? All the other ones load. Um, the 90-year lease on the land beneath the housing project Will make, TriMet will re maintain ownership of the land and development rights for public realm space, whatever the hell that is. $1,500 upfront ground lease payment. So they got another, they got a hundred, another, uh, it's 1.5 million. So they'll have another 1.5 million to probably hire a bunch of executives, give themselves some bonuses. Bridge will contribute 150000 to create a permanent memorial to the total and complete abject failure of TriMet security to stop that killing that happened on Max. Uh, TriMet completion of a second infra infrastructure problem uh, project to, among other things, replace the existing substation plus new bus pull-ins. Ooh, big deal. City of Portland vacation? Vacation? of Northwest 82nd Ave and Halsey expanding the site blueprint to 8,000 feet. 200 units. A TriMet restroom facility with public bike storage. Because the property was originally purchased with federal funds, TriMet must get FDA concurrence. Therefore, the course of the, of the lease negotiations, TriMet has maintained contact FDA can encourage agencies. A bunch of fucking baloney. <clears throat> During the course of negotiating, the TriMet staff extensively investigated the transactions financial components in order to confirm that it satisfies the FDA's third criterion. 
TriMet's investigation yielded a broker's opinion into the valuation of the site, appraisals of the pop property market, and a calculation of the value to TriMet. Ah. Did this ever load? No, that won't load. Well, here's here's another. Okay, here's here's some information here. 2021 valuation, 7,256,000. 3.3,000,000 for the bridge prop. 5.2,000,000 entire site. That was 2018, though. How come the appraisal is 7,000,000, but the broker's opinion is 4.8,000,000? Um, and then, huh. Let's see. I don't know. Let's listen. Okay, that's enough. So when TriMet enters into a joint agreement for development of FTA-funded real estate property, the board must determine two key items. The first one, that the terms and conditions of the joint development agreement are reasonable and fair to the agency. And we already know that the board is a puppet board and they'll they'll approve whatever the general manager puts in front of them. We know that for many years of watching this crap. And also the number two is that any revenue attained through the agreement will be used for public transportation. Yeah, like what? Cutting bus service? Because that's what you're doing. So whatever you're doing, you're fail you're already failing at your mission. All right, you're a failure. You're a fucking failure. And it pisses me off to see how much people are suffering because of your failures. Oh, but it's the worldwide worker shortage. Yeah, which you could fix if you wanted to, but you don't want to fix it. This particular resolution applies to the joint development agreement for the Hollywood Transit Center property. As you are aware, TriMet has been in negotiations around the property for approximately two years and is two prepared years. to enter a 99-year lease 99 agreement. Years. With Why didn't they make the West 99 years? They only made that one 50, and it's the biggest failure in TriMet right now. It's sucking down that money. Well, I can't find any drivers! Bridge housing. Under the proposal... Bridge would build and operate an affordable housing development on the site, while TriMet would conduct a concurrent project to rehabilitate our aging transit center. What? what what's what's because the Hollywood Transit Center property was originally purchased with federal funds, TriMet TriMet must get FTA support of the proposed agreement before executing the lease. The budget. The TriMet work on site is well, wait a minute. So you don't have FTA approval? Shouldn't you get that first before you come to the board? I mean, if they have to approve it, why would you come to the board before they approve it? Because the FTA could say no. But I'm sure that's already, you know, that's just for a formality. Included in our F FY22 engineering and construction operating budget, all proceeds from the lease with Bridge will be used for public transportation. Yeah, like what? The company has committed to what use public a transportation. You don't have any fucking public transportation, you fucking loser. For about 50% of the project's design work and 35% of construction work, your approval is recommended. And we know that the Thank approval you. will come because it's automatic. Let's see if they have any questions about this. I mean, we heard the public testimony People did not want this, but what is, was it? You know, we know that government does not represent the interests of the people. Government represents the interests of the one percent. The people are locked out completely. We have no say in anything that we're doing anymore. None. We're just peons and serfs to be sacrificed at the will of the of the one percent. Is there a motion to approve resolution twenty one twelve? Oh yeah, she, has, she likes to have the motion before the discussion. D three. So moved. This is sure. Director Gonzalez. Yeah, Thank I you, see. Director Gonzalez. Is there a second? Second. Director Edwards? Um, it's been moved and seconded. Are there any comments before we vote? 
Uh, yes, uh, President, President Simmons. Simmons. I have so they're basically ignoring all the public comment, okay? Just so you know that. Uh, which they do. The public comment is a waste of your time. It's, it's just, they don't care what you think. It's it's fake. I a comment. Um, um, since we were entering into this contract, um, I mentioned earlier, and I think the, the board was, was consenting to that as well, that we... Um, that the um, manager, the developer and manager of this property have an educational component for the tenants that are going to be staying in there. Oh, yeah. I mean, what the hell is this all? What are you talking about? This isn't your job to have an educational component to a goddamn apartment building. The fuck is the matter with you? Why don't you, get, why don't you tell that general manager of yours to increase the pay 25% to get more drivers? instead of this shit. And so I wanted to make sure that that was not left out of this contract. Can I bring in um, our Director of Oriented Development, Lance Ertz? Director of this, Director of that. How many fucking directors do they have? Um, yes, we are, we are aware of um, the board's interest in kind of the supportive services that bridge will bring to its residents once the uh, when is this thing going to be built two years down how long is it going to take to build it why are you worrying about this thing it's none of your business is developed and up and running and they have a long-standing commitment to do that there will be an obligation in the lease agreement for those services holding them to what they you know what they generally do <sighs> as an affordable housing developer and sure. providing those kinds of services. So we have discussed yeah, that with them, that blood, and they have committed to, to, to doing that, and we will, we will hold them to it through the lease. Yeah, sure you will. Next commitment is in writing. I'm sorry, could you please say Next commitment is in writing. It will be in the lease, yes. Thank you. You'd be. Um, Director Gonzalez, did you have a comment? I, I, I did. Um, I, I have a question, really, and this is something Lance, Guy, either of you, I think, could speak to. Um, you know, this is a precedent-setting moment for TriMet. Um, what? Uh, so I have a. So this guy, precedent-setting for moment when your fucking transit system is a disgrace. A general question, and and I'd say, you know, from from your perspective, were there. Were there some critical decisions that this he not, is establishing for China? They're not going to bring up the fact that the testimony was all in, against this. Yeah, let's just ignore that. It's precedent setting. What's so precedent setting about it? That you feel are worth kind of bringing to the board's attention. Um, and more specifically, I see that uh, there's... Uh, a lease back component for a bathroom facility. Aside from that, is there any other sort of um, um, access or, or property rights that TriMet is absorbing or will maintain in this in this agreement? Yeah, thank you, Director Gonzalez. Um, you're right. So part of the part of the the deal points will be that. Bridge agrees to lease back not only a restroom but also a bike room for for TriMet customer use uh, for the entirety of the of the 99 year ground lease, which that frankly has substantial value. Uh, there is also going to be as part of the TriMet infrastructure project construction of a courtyard, uh, public paseo, and Yippee. there will be a the, the plan and the intent is to have. A long-term agreement with Bridge to share the expenses to um, operate and maintain the courtyard area um, through a third party. Um, so there will be a long-term third party. And even beyond that, when the, what we're calling the Phase Two parcel, which is going to be the remaining developable parcel on the site, is developed, uh, we intend to bring that developer into. Kind of that partnership, the long-term partnership of not only maintaining the courtyard but also kind of programming public space in, in the courtyard and the sale. So, so yes, we are we are considering this to be a long-term partnership with Bridge. We're going into a 99-year lease with them, so um, we, we want to make sure that we 
can continue to work closely together to make this the best public space we can make it. Yeah, right. Great. Oh, lovely. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Great uh, question. Could great. you just uh, give, give us a forecast on that long-term operating agreement partnership? Have you already discussed whether that's going to be a 50-50 with Bridge or um, any other any other sort of place we've landed? Yeah, we're, we're, we're still in those discussions. We're, we're still finalizing the, the terms of the lease um, and, and that agreement. So we haven't completely uh, hit on that quite yet on how we're going to divide all that. But it's, it's going to be definitely a cost share, you know, a, a fair and reasonable cost share. What do you mean a cost share? I thought you were getting money from them for public transportation. But now you're turning around and say you're going to spend that money back to them. I thought you were supposed to get money from them. What do you mean cost share? Um, and also, like I said, when the, the next developer comes on for phase two, they'll be the one next of the requirements developer. to develop that. The developer weasels own every city in this country. Okay, the, the weasels that extract wealth from the people that can't afford things. They, they, they get this by getting money from the government and disguise it as affordable housing. And it doesn't help anybody. This homeless population keeps growing. If you think the government is going to help anybody at this point in your life here, you really aren't paying attention. I mean, they're they're killing us, okay, at all levels. If you can't see it, I feel sorry for you. That site will be to participate in an equal manner as well. Um, Doug Allen has indicated that the restroom will not be open to the public. Of course not. Why? Why let the public have any restroom? Of course not. This is that's Portland, Oregon. You know, even Boston has bathrooms for the transit riders. But Portland, nope. That's how fucked up Portland is. I mean, Boston even, and Boston is much tougher city than Portland is. I understand. Those are staff amenities. Yeah, thank you. How about having a staff bathroom and a public bathroom? Did you ever think of that? How about that? Nope. This is Portland. We don't believe in helping anybody. Um, I, I don't, don't see, see any other comments from board members. Thank you for those who had them. So we will go ahead and vote. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Jesus, um, any opposed? Any abstentions? motion carries thank you yeah okay well that's <laughs> that's about what i expected of course you know a complete joke but that's how it goes your elites running your lives now a lot of people are going to be highly inconvenienced by this but they don't count over and out